Countries worldwide are battling with the pandemic and what the WHO has dubbed a massive coronavirus, quote, infodemic, unquote. Disinformation and propaganda has reared its ugly head in St. Lucia as the country records more COVID-19 cases. The weekend was plagued by a raft of bogus press releases rife with false information. Prime Minister Alan Chastney reminds the public to ensure that the information pertaining to COVID-19 comes from reliable sources. As a government from day one, um, have attempted to try to avoid that. That's human nature, sadly, and it's even worse now that we're in this particular time of, of season. Um, and this is why we've gone through the discipline of allowing the CMO to be the lead person. So unless you've not gotten it from the CMO, then it's, you have to question the validity of what it is. I'm just asking a lot of the people, the public, the general public, not to believe things. And the more dramatic it is, it, the more tendency it is for it to be to be fake. Prior to the press release, some members of the public had cast doubt on the 29th case and stating that COVID-19 was a hoax. Chastney cautions persons to discontinue such practices. When I see persons not wanting to wear their face mask or questioning whether in fact we have COVID or not and whether in fact this was real information, this is dangerous. Um, and while I understand we're in politics and, and, and politics tends to bring out this kind of behavior, combined with what's taken place with COVID, is, it's, not a, it's not a good situation. And I'm really asking those persons to cease and desist that. On the, on the area or the subject of corona, as well as health, we need to be unified in one singular message. There's some very difficult decisions we have to make. Meanwhile, Minister with Responsibility for Broadcasting, Dominic Fede, urges St. Lucians to be more considerate and refrain from spreading misinformation about confirmed cases. In future instances, what we don't want is for individuals who are positive to be bastardized by misinformation. And then they're afraid to come forward to say, well, hey, I'm negative. So we don't want to um, create an environment where people are going to be very secretive about their health condition in this rather sensitive time. And I'm very concerned about the uh, level of um, fake news that is going around. I want to implore the general public to only listen to official sources. Let's stay away from these voice notes that you cannot verify the veracity of. And let us now ensure that we keep focus, listen to um, the health agencies and we work together in winning this information war. Restrictions on personal freedoms have seen persons staying at home with ample free time to spend on social media. In February, the WHO warned of, quote, an overabundance of information, some accurate and some not, that makes it hard for people to find trustworthy sources and reliable guidance when they need it, end quote. Colby DeVoe, HTS News Force.